Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Bear Max. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so guys, Merry Christmas! Well, not really, but like almost. And since it's Christmas, today let's unbox some toys. So I got some toys that went viral in Japan. Well, not really only in Japan, but all over the world. But I got these toys all in Japan. Like, I know this went really viral on TikTok. I'm so excited to open this one. This one's like currently super popular in Japan. You can't buy this anywhere right now. And I also got this lucky bag from Toys R Us. So yeah, guys, I'm so excited. I love toys, especially like these DIY toys. I think they're all so cute and fun and even adults can enjoy. Um, let's just jump right in. Unboxing some toys. It's a Christmas special. Let's get started. Okay, so which one should I start from? Uh, so I got something called Pao-chan. You can make like squishy charms with this. My Illumi. You can make like a cute light up decoration, which I think is a genius. Some aqua beads. I got like a deluxe version. And this, I don't know what it's called in English, but it's called Pampina in Japanese. A Sanrio Who Are You? This 3D Tamagotchi like thingy. A chocolate charm kit. And a lucky bag that I don't know what's inside. So I wanna start from this. I think this is so cute. Okay, so Who Are You? It is. Okay, so first toy. By the way, I know it's kind of off topic, but I got this from Popflex. It's their new romper that they just released. I mean, I love Popflex. She's such a queen. Anyways, so who are you? I wonder if you guys know about this, but this is a toy that went viral like a few years ago. And ever since, it's been really popular and they made the Sanrio version. <gasps> oh, bad luck. I wanted to rip it all the way across. Uh, uh, why do I suck at opening this? And oh, so there's like this story behind who are you? This toy got the idea from abandoned pets. So it's supposed to like represent abandoned dogs and cats. And you don't know what it is until you put it in the water and wash it and clean it up. So this is supposed to be either Hello Kitty, My Melody, or Cinnamon Roll. Since it's got this like pink fluff right here, I'm guessing it's supposed to be Hello Kitty or My Melody. And it also comes with a heart-shaped comb, which is also perfect for humans. My bangs gotta be perfect. <laughs> and a name tag. So let's put this inside the water. Let me pour it in. In the moment of truth, here we go. Ooh, it's so solid. I think I can see who it is already. Can you guys tell? I'm just gonna slowly massage it. And here we have, Oh, we got Hello Kitty, my favorite. I'm so sad that she was abandoned. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hello Kitty. I have to. And using the comb that it came with, I'm just gonna brush the fur. And now you wanna wait a day for it to completely dry. But I'm just gonna pop it into my dryer. That way I don't have to wait for like a whole day. Okay. Okay, next toy, it's called My Illumi. It's basically like a light-up box that you could DIY to put it in your room as decoration. It's been in my room for like the past few months and I've been wanting to open it for a very long time. So let's do it. The reveal. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I thought. It's got these like colorful nibs. I think this is like a spare base. And some extra parts. Are there any instructions? I do not see any instructions. I'm just guessing you're supposed to put these colorful nibs inside these holes to make the decoration. Do you know what this reminds me of? Diamond art paintings. Like, look at this. It's like a really mini sized diamond art painting to be honest. Why am I always doing diamond art paintings? Okay, so you open it like this. Ooh, this is how it looks inside. For the first one, I'm going to recreate this Christmas party. And the second one, I'm gonna go crazy. Okay, so this is the sheet. I'm just gonna look at this as a guide to recreate this like Christmas party. I really wish they had more colors though. Five colors, not enough. By the way, if you ever wonder why I have tape on my hand, it's because I kind of scratched myself and I have a band-aid on top and I wanted to cover my band-aid. It's just a scratch, it's not a big deal, but I just wanted to cover it up. So, so yellow right here. I told you it reminds me of diamond art projects. Ooh, they have queer. By the way, guys, if you're wondering where I am right now, I'm in the small house that I made in my yard. I'm probably gonna tell you guys more about it in a different video, but this place is like my entertainment room. It's got like karaoke, manga. It's just like a fun room. It's not quite done yet. Okay, let me take this out, but I'm just like so excited with how it's turning out. And we have a Christmas tree. Now in this corner, we have like a star. And over here, we have a little present. One more over here. And we're done with this design. Okay, it was really quick and easy. Let's do one more. I need to be careful because there's not a lot of blue left. Nah. 
Let me restart over again and make like a teddy bear. Wait, does this even look like a teddy bear? It, I gotta like trust the process. I don't know guys. It's starting to look like a cat. I need to make like a little bow. I mean, kinda. I don't think this looks like a bow. And let me just put these like extra things all over just to make it extra cute. It's a bit trickier than I thought. Anyways, time to set it up in this box. Um, it is not lighting up. So I just pulled out the tab and the battery's all new, but it's not lighting up. Well, you're supposed to put the design inside and it's supposed to light up. And my partner just went to the convenience store to get me some more batteries and it's not working. I mean, apparently it's supposed to light up in different colors, but it's not lighting up. And I had high hopes for it too. I'm so sad, but I feel like you can still kind of feel the gist of it. Okay, next toy. I know this is like super viral on TikTok right now. How to open this. How cute. It looks like a real oven. Like the top and all. Oh my gosh. So I guess you open right here. Okay, a spoon, a small mold. It's a measuring cup shaped as a cat. That is so cute. And some powders and a bag. Is that it? Okay, is that all? So apparently after we mix everything and put it inside, it turns into a plushie, which I'm just really not understanding, but let's see how it works. So first you will need a bowl. And next we're gonna mix these two powders together. So first bag and second bag and mix. I wonder what this powder is made of. And now it's time to knead my hand. And by kneading it, it's supposed to turn into a dough. So this toy came from the idea of making some bread. So I should feel like I'm baking right now. It's starting to come together and it just feels like light clay. And it smells like, I don't know what it smells like. So now I'm supposed to roll it. Ooh, I think it's starting to kind of dry. You need to move quickly with this and put it inside this mold. I wonder if the outcome will change depending on how well you make this. Probably not, but if it did, it would be really interesting. Like, oh, it's missing a leg. And a plushie will turn out without a leg. Let me clean up the desk with leftover dough. Oh, my new sweater. My pop flex sweater. And using this, I'm supposed to make some little paw marks. Like so. Oh, can you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Press. Release. These tiny details are just so fun. And release and open. Oh, it's a cute bunny. So it's got the ears on top, little paw marks, and now it's time to put it inside the oven. So first, you're supposed to pull this like yellow tab out, put the bunny inside, and turn the switch. I hear some ticking. And you're supposed to wait 90 seconds. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, how does this thing work? 90 seconds is a really long time. I wanna see what's happening inside. Is it time yet? All the voice. Okay, here we go. The reveal. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, and here we have a super cute plushie. Where did it go? And where did this come from? And it smells really good. And it's warm. What? Why is it warm? Oh, it's so nice for my hands. This is so awesome. Whoever came up with this needs a raise. So if you hug it, it makes this cute sound. And if you hold it for three seconds, it becomes warm for two minutes. Oh, this is a great heater to bring around with you. Oh, you're so cute. I mean, this bunny definitely needs a name. And I'm obsessed with the smell. I can't describe it, but it smells really sweet. Like a cupcake. I mean, I have to say this may be the best out of all. Okay, next up, this like 3D Tamagotchi. Guys, check this out. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's like a hologram and it pops up and apparently you could kind of touch it. I, I'm amazed. All these toys are so different from what I used to play with. Unboxing toys is like my least favorite part. They're like all tied up everywhere. Okay, let me read the instructions. Guys, would you marry me? So how does this work? So first you're supposed to take off this sticker and swipe it from the left to the right. So there's 15 different kinds of animals. This is the list right here. And they've also got unicorn, but it's super rare. So first you wanna swipe right here to change the menu. So that's the food icon, the heart meter, some settings, some snacks. So there's a lot of different functions. So you basically wanna take care of it. So you could kinda of like pat its head. It feels so weird how you could touch it. And you could also give them some food. 
or some snacks. Let's give him some fish. <gasps> oh, so now we've got a cat. Hi. So sometimes it also poops. So you would need to like clean it up right after. So it really is kind of like Tamagotchi. And once you take care of it, the heart kind of starts filling up. And once it's full, you get to see the other animals and stuff. So this is gonna take a while. Oh, it's mad at me. Wait, I don't get it. Why is it mad at me? Oh no, wait, don't run away. Are you hungry? No, it's not hungry. I am so confused. Oh, it wanted me to pet it. <laughs> Oh, he wanted some love. This is complicated, guys. But I mean, it's a really fun concept. Oh, why is the cat mad now? Oh gosh, you're all so needy. Okay, you know what, guys? I already have two dogs. So taking care of four pets is a little bit too much for me. But if you guys are interested into like the Tamagotchi stuff, I highly recommend. This one, I actually got it for 2,000 yen, which is around like $14. $50 USD, which is honestly like not that bad. I wouldn't mind getting a lucky bag for $15. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, first off we've got a chicken. <laughs> Interesting. Honestly, I did not expect this from a Toys R Us bag. She's cute. And look, the legs move. Well, aren't you a delight? Would I play with it? Probably not, but it would be perfect for next Thanksgiving. And next, ooh, we've got a minion puzzle. Apparently you kind of like rotate it and finish the art. Since I don't think I'm gonna play with this, I'm just gonna donate these. I love playing with like the DIY stuff, but not really like the toys. So whatever I'm not gonna play with, I'm just gonna keep it like this and give it away. So next up, we've got a puzzle. Oh, this is fun. It's a Pooh Bear clip. You guys know me, I love Disney. We've got Pooh. And what's interesting about this is that it's supposed to be a clip for your juice box. You know how it has like a triangle right here? You could just like slide it in and keep it closed. I've never thought about this, but this is actually quite useful. Oh, this is fun. It's called Oikaki Mofurenzu. So you could just like doodle on the cat and wash it off so you could play it as many times as you want. I know this is fun, but again, it's not really for me, so I'm just gonna donate this. Ah, you get to make your own accessories and stuff using these hair bands. And lastly, do you guys know what Precure is? It's a Japanese anime for little girls, and it's like a Precure little dresser. Again, it's super funny cute. Okay, my thoughts. For $15, this is definitely a steal. So I think I'm just gonna give the whole back to my friend's daughter. I feel like there's gonna be someone else who would appreciate this more. It was fun, I love unboxing mystery bags, but let's move on because we still have a lot more to go. Aqua beads. And I got the extra special version. Like, look at this cart. It's all Disney. I feel like a princess. Ta-da! Wow, oh my. How pretty is this? But it's gonna take a while for me to build. So let's fast forward. I mean, this container is so extra. I kind of want to use this for my diamond art projects. Why is everything reminding me of diamond art projects? I'm like cursed or something. Ta-da! So now, let's try making some cute charms. It also comes with this pen. And you can slide in some bees from this hole. Let's try making Ariel. So all I have to do is fill it up with the same colored bead. Oh, that was easy. It does take a bit to fill it up. But once you fill it up, it's super fast. And here we've got Ariel. Now I'm just gonna spray some water. And wait for five minutes. Five minutes later. It's been five minutes and it should be ready. And here we have a cute charm. Oh, oh it's still really fragile. Oh, her dress. I mean, I love the whole idea. I would have to say eight out of 10. Okay, next toy. I actually got this toy for like $3. Best deal ever. Ta-da! Wow, that was like magic. So this is a fake chocolate decorating kit. Can we just like take a moment to appreciate this aesthetic? The design and everything is like on point. I know I've said cute a lot today, but honestly, everything is just so 
cute. Like, I would love to have this in my room just as decoration. Okay, so first we've got some chocolate lollipops over here. We also have like strawberry, bear-shaped ones, biscuits. So we're basically gonna decorate these using these things that look like melted chocolate. When you open it, it looks something like this. And you're supposed to dip it in to make it look like a chocolate fondue. The problem is... Guys, I figured out why it was so cheap. All of these, they look a tad a bit dry. As you can see here, you're supposed to like dip it in this melted chocolate. Hmm, it doesn't look really melted. Like especially this yellow one, it's like a blob. They probably priced it really low so people will still buy it, but they wouldn't come back to complain because it's only $3. But luckily for me, I know how to fix this problem. This is just basically made out of glue and water. So I'm just gonna add some more water and glue to like water it down. This should definitely help. I mean, the color's probably gonna change like tad a bit, but like not much. Okay, there we go. Now it looks more like melted chocolate. It's not mixing in. I think it became a little bit too dry. So this is a pass, but don't worry. I think I could still save this one. Now that's what I'm talking about. Mm, melted chocolate. Okay, so guys, we're ready. We're just not gonna use the yellow. Let's start with the most basic one. So we're just gonna dip it in. And oh, this looks so good. I want to eat it. I'm just going to put it back here. And we could decorate it using these sprinkles. You see this thing on the top? You could basically take it off and use it to store the sprinkles. Some cold ones. Kind of like that. Oh, I love it. Okay, okay. Next is teddy bear. Let's go with the strawberry. Dip it in. out. Kind of like tap off the excess a little bit more. I'm glad that it's working. At first I thought it's gonna be like a complete fail. So for this one, I'm going to put a heart on the ear. I love it! And some sprinkles. This is so fun! So that's my second one. Next one, you could dip it in like diagonally, which is what I've been doing so far. You could dip it in like halfway, or you could dip it in all the way. Let's try all the way. swirl it around okay it's a little bit messy but honestly I think it looks kind of realistic and using this pen I'm going to try making like a design uh. okay I'm glad that this pen worked I don't know if I could do every single one because I'm kind of running low on the chocolates but I'll try my best let's go with the strawberry I'm going to dip in halfway and release I mean, it's honestly cute as is, but I'm gonna put a little bow right here. And next, the strawberry, definitely chocolate, but I'm gonna dip it in diagonally like this. And then diagonally again, this way. Can you guys see it? So it makes like this feline. This might be my favorite out of all today, but we don't know if it's our favorite for the day because we have one more toy to play with. So let's move on to the last toy. By the way, Hello Kitty is all dry now. Oh, you're such a cute ball of fluff. And apparently you could put like a name tag on. But I don't know about you guys, but Hello Kitty is Hello Kitty to me. Like, it's not gonna be like Mrs. Whiskers or anything. So yeah, I think we're good. And last toy of the day, we're gonna play with Pauchum. So this is a new toy that just came out and guys, it's so popular you cannot buy it anywhere now. People are selling this online for like $100. That's how crazy this is right now. So this is called Pauchum and it comes from pouches and charms. So it's like pouch charms. And here are the pouches. They're all Sumiko Gurashi themed. Super cute. So you're gonna close each pouch using this machine and you're gonna put in some like slimes and glitters and stuff and zip it up. Hmm, let me try this. So I'm going to press this until this red light disappears. Waiting. Once it's ready, I'm going to slide this in and close. Now to the fun part. Let's fill it in with some slime. Ooh, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. We're just going to scoop it up. It's like never ending. 
I'm having some difficulties here. The first problem is it's not closing up. I did it like four times and it still opens up. Let me try closing it once again. Release. Letting it cool down. Okay, the problem is it's really hard to actually close it down, which should be the point of this toy. And secondly, it's really hard to put in the slime and it just goes everywhere. I'm sorry, am I doing this wrong? Scooping up some slime. I mean, the ends are just so sticky and it goes everywhere and it's just like a disaster. I mean, like the slime is just too sticky. I'm just gonna put it aside for now. And I mean, this is for kids. If I'm having some trouble, imagine how it's like for the kids and the parents. Like it shouldn't be this troublesome. And it's not closing. I'm doing exactly what it says and it's not closing. And this time I'm not gonna use the slime. I'm gonna fill it up using these beads. No, it's opening up again. Oh my. And I'm just gonna add these cotton balls. And then, oh, oh no. It completely opened up. Guys, I'm trying my best. I swear, I just hate giving bad reviews. I'm trying to make it work, guys. Why is it not closing? Okay, wait, I got it, I got it. I think I was supposed to warm it up every single time. Okay, I got it, guys. I got this. And there, it kind of opened again. But I feel like there's gonna be a learning curve for this. I'm sorry, I couldn't make it work, but I think I'm done for the day. Oh, I'm getting cold. Anyways, I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys did too. Tell me guys your favorite toy in the comment section. So yeah, um, Merry Christmas and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!